Hi guys, today we're going to work on a project that I like to call Shape Up or Word Art. And um, what we're basically going to do is think of a, a an object. It could be um, a fruit, a vegetable, a, an animal, or just something that you love to do. And think of one object that represents that. And then we are going to take the actual name of that object and make it into the object itself. Um, in language arts we call this kind of like a concrete poem and what it is is when you write a poem in the shape of the thing you're talking about. So say you were writing a poem about a sun then you would write your poem but in the shape of a sun. And so that's kind of what we're doing here but we're just using the word. So for example I want to show you this is a pineapple and the spikes are in the shape of the letters that spell pine and the uh, the main fruit of the fruit is it says apple so it's a pineapple so we're going to do something like that I want you to think for a minute I'm going to show you a couple examples of things that we've done um, and see what you think so here's one that says cup cake and I decided it needed something else, so I added a plate, and it says plate. <laughs> but I thought it was kind of cool that it's cupcake, and then up here, it's almost like a cherry on top, so I gave it a little extra stem. So that's an example. Um, I have a student in a class, and he loves basketball, so we took a basketball and drew it, and then we filled the spaces with the letters of his name. So it says Arturo, and it's shaped like a basketball. Okay. Um, so let me see, here's another one. This one is, you probably could guess what it is, unicorn. Now this one I had to write the word several times because I couldn't figure out how to make the whole unicorn in the shape of just the word one time. So I divided it up into sections. Here's the face and then I have an ear and I have the horn and then I had layers of its mane and so I wrote unicorn several times to fill that space. So the letters are taking place of the lines you would use to draw it normally. So let me show you how to do this real quick. I'm going to do an ice cream cone this time because I've been craving ice cream. So we're going to do an ice cream cone. Okay. So I'm doing an ice cream cone. You don't have to do an ice cream cone. You can pick whatever you want, but I want to show you the process real quick. So first you want to take a pencil and outline the shape of your object just real lightly. Okay? So I'm going to start with the cone because I chose ice cream cone. And I'm doing it lightly because we're going to erase this line later. Okay? So here's my cone. And then on top of that, I'm going to draw ice cream. And I might do more than one layer. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do this. Maybe we'll do two layers. I probably should have given myself more room at the top so I could have toppings if I wanted. Just super light. And I might even have my ice cream cone dripping a little bit. Okay, so here's my ice cream cone. Now we're going to fill it with letters. So, ice cream cone is probably what I'll do. And maybe I'll even write the word drip in there. But when you're doing your letters now, you're going to use bubble letters. And you have to change the shapes of your letters to make them fit the space as much as you can to fill it. And when I say that, I don't mean just draw the letters big. I mean, you're actually going to... morph these letters to take over some of these lines on the outside, okay? Because we're going to erase the lines that we made out on the outside here, so there's going to be no lines. So this has to take up the space 
of that layer because we're getting rid of these lines and you want it to still be left with the shape once you get rid of these lines. So there's ice and then for cream my C might be a little bit globby and then I'm going to put my R in here just for the sake of filling space I think and then my E So you're going to have kind of crazy shapes in here. Cream. Ice cream. And then I almost don't like this because it kind of looks like an H. So what I might do instead. I might leave that there and then I might make my A bigger. No, now it looks like an R. This is what's great about art though, is you can problem solve. So we're going to leave the A, we're going to leave the M, we'll just make the E extra drippy because it's dripping off that side anyway. So that side's melting. So now it says ice cream and then this thing needs to say cone. So I'll probably flip it sideways and I'll probably do cone like this. And then there's a good space for the O. And then I need an N. And then I need an E. I'm going to have to fix that N. Make a long E. This N looks like an H, doesn't it? I need this to be more slanty to make it look like an N. Huh. Okay, so now it says ice cream cone. And then I'm going to make this little guy say drip. There we go. Drip. So now you can kind of see because I've done it pretty dark that it makes up the shape of an ice cream cone and you don't even need the outline for the object anymore. So your letters take on the shape of the object. So then you can go back and erase. This may take some practice because um, I've taught this a couple times so far it's been kind of confusing in some ways. But the letters have to take the shape of the thing that you're drawing. So here's ice cream cone. Now I'll put some examples of um, other pictures and things that online you can search. Um, shape word art or something like that. And uh, animal word art or something. But this project is called Shape Up Word Art. And then you color it in, okay? So don't just leave it like this. I want you to color it when you're done. And um, let me see here real quick. I want to show you that uh, cupcake one again. Yeah, make sure you color it so that you can see the different layers and they're actually that color. So this is like a chocolate cupcake with a cherry on top. It's got a purple cupcake wrapper and then the plate is turquoise. So, and if you're gonna do a basketball, make it orange, you know what I mean? So, so spend some time thinking about those colors. Like I would probably do two different layers. I'd probably do like maybe a pink one and a brown one and then this would be like a light brown ice cream cone color just so it really looks good and then honestly next time I did this I'd move it down further so I could put a cherry on top because I think that would look neat so that's that and um, let me know if you need any help with that and um, upload it to Art Sonia when you're done coloring it thanks bye